Hello, in this video we're going to find these second order partial derivatives for this function here. Let's go ahead and jump into its solution. By the way, these should be the same in this problem because they're continuous and so there's a theorem that says basically when these are continuous um, they're going to be the same. But we're going to go ahead and go through the work and just make sure that they are in fact the same. So when you're finding this, so this here, second order derivative of z, and here we have del y del x. What this means is the following. This is del del y of del z del x. Okay, so you first find del z del x and then you take the partial with respect to y. So you basically work right to left. Okay, so let's go ahead and find del z del x. Del z del x. That's the partial of this function with respect to x. Now the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. But here it's e to the x, y, so we basically use the chain rule. We take the derivative of the outside, which is simply e to the x, y. Leave the inside untouched. Then times the derivative of the inside. Well, we're taking the derivative with respect to x, so we're treating the y as a constant. So the derivative of x is 1, so we're just left with y. So this is equal to y e to the x, y. Okay, so now we take the derivative of this with respect to y. So basically we have this, whoops, which is this, right? It's the partial with respect to y of y times e to the xy. To do this, we're going to use something called the product rule. Recall if you have two functions, f and g, and you multiply them, and you take the derivative, Think of f as your first function and g as your second. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here it'll be the derivative with respect to y. So it's 1 times the second plus the first times the derivative of this with respect to y, which is the derivative of the outside, then times the derivative of the inside via the chain rule, which is going to be x because the derivative of y is 1. So this will end up being e to the xy plus xy e to the xy. And you could factor out an e to the xy. I'm just going to leave it just like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and find the other one, which is this here. So now let's find the second order partial derivative of z, and then we have del x del y. So first we have to find del z del y. So let me go ahead and write z again so you can see it. So del z, del y, again, we're going to use the chain rule. The derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside is this, times the derivative of the inside. So we're taking a look at this, and we're differentiating it with respect to y. The x is a constant, because when you differentiate with respect to y, you treat all the other variables as constants. So the derivative of y is 1, so you just get x. This is x, e to the x, y. And now we do it again. We're basically looking for this now, which is basically del del x of what we just did, right? Del z del y, which is this, x e to the x, y. Again, product rule. So since I have it written up here, I won't write it again. This is your first function. This is your second function. It's the derivative of the first, which is uh, 1. Right? We're differentiating with respect to x times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Again, chain rule. Take the derivative of the outside, evaluate it at the inside, then multiply by the derivative of the inside function with respect to x. The y is a constant. The derivative of x is 1, so you just get y. So this is e to the xy plus xy e to the xy. And as expected, they are identical. So yeah, pretty interesting problem. It's a good example because um, it really requires that you know um, how to compute partial derivatives. Good luck.